Okay, here, back to Steve Tripped Out Cyclers. Still at the auto show, this is the 10th day of the show. Uh, it's been going really well. The crowds have been bigger during the weekend. Uh, you know, get a lot of flow through the booth. It's been real exciting talking about all the builds we have going on here. Uh, plus a lot of great vendors around here. Brandon and some guys I haven't seen for years. And we're back in the industry, actually on different ends of it. Um, one guy was a big bike guy with me back in the day. Uh, and now he's uh, really involved in cars. He has a very beautiful uh, Lamborghini, a few other cars here. We're gonna go over his route, talk to him. Um, we've got some other great vendors here doing some bikes, doing some cars. Car effects, doing some great stuff there. So we're gonna make our rounds later. Uh, we're gonna introduce you to some of the guys in the booth uh, that have been here the whole time we have. Uh, like I said, a lot of talking. Voices start to get a little harsh uh, from talking all weekend. Uh, the everybody flowing through here, but it's been a really good show. Like I said, this is, I believe, the 15th year that I've been uh, back with Dub Magazine. Uh, we were, uh, the shows used to be down in Atlantic City, uh, where it was more of a concert or a real Dub uh, show. Um, this one's just uh, pretty much a piggyback with the Philadelphia Auto Show. They got us located on the downstairs, about a 20,000 square foot section, which is just custom stuff. No manufacturers down here, just guys like myself that are involved in the industry, whether they're doing cars, whether they're doing bikes, if they're in the audio systems. It's, uh, it's a really good mixture of everybody in the industry, guys that are making wheels, there's Jeep guys out here. Plus we also got Monster Energy uh, passing out drinks. They're doing a DJ performance. They got the Monster Girls. There was a guy doing break dancing out there. So they all have something interesting. Uh, and we also had another interesting act this year. Uh, I guess a gentleman from Florida, uh, originally from Cuba. Don Cuba came, he had his dancers performance. He had some uh, really good time. The guy had uh, really a lot of energy. It was really cool. He was getting down. Looked like his dad or some older gentleman in the booth. They were just really having a good time of it. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of clips online of that. The crowd was actually so loud and packed around. We really didn't get any good video, so we don't have any clips of that, but I'm sure there's gonna be some other float uh, around on the internet. But uh, we're gonna go around some of the bikes we have here. Uh, we'll show you the Demon. Uh, we, this bike has been before, but we got it back from a customer. They had it down in Washington, D.C. at the show, so they brought it up uh, just as that show ended so we could display the bike here in our booth again. So we're real proud of this bike. This is the Demon bike we built for one of our good customers. Uh, this customer has the car, so we did a lot of things to mimic the car to make it more of a match and more of a compliment to what he's already riding. So if you want to come in close, check out some of the details of this bike. Uh, this is a 2018 Harley Davidson Road King that the customer had shipped up for us. Uh, what he did was he heard about the concept and what I wanted to do with the bike. So he actually picked up, he's a fellow wholesaler and a, and a uh, car dealer, so he picked up a unit from uh, Crash Toys, had the bike shipped up from Texas directly to our location. So this was a damaged Road King, so why not start out with something tens of thousands of dollars less than what the bike would have cost you if you went to the showroom floor and just removed everything. So we took that bike uh, with slight damage, ripped everything out, got down to the skeleton. Now, you know anything about Road Kings, they have bags on the back, uh, so we really changed the bike. So I like to start from the front of the bike, just work my way uh, straight on back. So we took and made a custom necklace for the headlight, removing the factory seven-inch Harley Davidson setup, uh, and we took this and we went with the double headlights. We also added uh, a turbo to the spike to give it some power, uh, rather than factory. You know, no engine work, just a bolt-on trash system that really amplifies the bike, really has a beautiful sound spooling up, and really gives some great add-on horsepower for everyday riding. Um, remember, this customer wanted a mimic bike. He's not trying to race. Um, he's not trying to do anything, but he wants additional performance from factory. Um, he's more of a uh, driver. The gentleman we actually built the bike for is actually 6'5", almost 500 pounds. So a lot of the dimensions I had to do was to fit a rider that's twice my size. So extended foot pegs, forward controls, uh, a very large seat from Mustang that's comfortable uh, with a removable backrest because I definitely wanted to give him some backrest support. Uh, but him not being a rider, he just uh, wanted to feel comfortable. So I did everything I thought that would tie in the bike to make it more comfortable. So. We also did the one-off side access panels. Instead of making them flare out into the bags, I took two panels and actually custom plastic welded them and shaped them to give the bike a smooth side access cover 
that looks like it was made like that. More of a dyna look uh, than a touring model, because I wanted the bike to be open shocks. Uh, then we took the uh, factory swing arm. Uh, we went with a dirty air suspension. The swing arm is actually modified to be the air tank on this, because we don't have any room under bags to hide any of the compressors and accessories that are all needed to operate all this. Um, so another cosmetic thing we did here, I custom made a wing on the back to replicate the wing that they have on the back of the demon. And we also took some rear fiberglass fender of a touring model, and then I actually cut the center out, added some clear resin to make a section that was transparent. And then we mimicked the tail light uh, to make it look like one side of the car. And then I split that in half and gave them turn signals, brake light, to really tie in the whole build. So I hope you all like it. There you go. Uh, but this is something different we did. Uh, we had the uh, 190 front tire with the fatty front end, 18-inch uh, front wheel with a 13-inch rotor and a six-piston caliper to clean up the one side and give it more of a race-inspired look. So, and we also went with some wheels that were from uh, Renegade Wheel Company that replicated uh, very similar looking to the wheels that come on the car. And this gentleman's demon, his red and black is his color theme, so we went with that straight through the bike, through the motor, to bring you what you see right here. So this is our Harley Davidson demon. I hope you like it. Love to hear your comments on it. Tell me what you think. And uh, keep checking us out. We're going to continue going through some of our bikes. We'll be right back with you.